Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe, click the bell, and click all to get all notifications. If you have any tech questions, please click the Discord link. Hello, today I'm going to show a quick tutorial on how to install a Python 3 virtual ENV wrapper tool here. So this way you can isolate different Python packages on a single machine. So the first thing you want to do is install this uh, pip3 Python 3-pip package, and I installed that actually already on here. And then you want to do pip3 install this. And then you want to make sure that these virtual env directories are already created. So you can see virtual envs, this is where it's going to put that. So now you want to edit your bash rc file, and at the bottom, you want to add these three lines. Basically, this says, where is the Python 3 binary for virtual env wrapper? Where are your virtual environments going to go? And where is this wrapper's um, script located at? So that's pretty much it. Write this out. Now we should be able to load up a new tab, and you should see some output like that. But the next time you load up a new tab, it won't do that. And that means that it installed the uh, Python 3 virtual environment correctly. And now you can do mk vert virt virtual env like this. And I usually just name it something easy, like Python 3 dev work. Something easy to do like that. And now you'll have this over here on the left here. And now I can do pip3 install like bpython. is one of the very first tools I usually install on all um, machines. And I can actually demo now how these are isolated. So now if I do pip freeze, you'll see that it has all these packages that were installed because I wanted to have this bpython package. But now if I bring up a new terminal and do pip freeze, you can see, so do pip3 freeze, you can see very few packages. Well, this comes with a, quite a few actually already installed. I'm kind of surprised. Um, but one of them is virtual env wrapper. It's kind of crazy that these are all on here by default. That's surprising. But anyway, the most important one is this one, the virtual env wrapper. And... Now I can just go in inside, if I need another make virtual env, let's say some Django testing here. Just create one called Django testing and then do pip3 install Django. And just like that, you'll have the latest version of Django installed here. So you can do pip freeze and see Django's 3.2.2. You can do pip install Django, and then I think you do equals equals, and it'll spit out all the versions that it supports. And if you need a different one, say like you're hard coded to two, this one, let's see if it'll do that one. Pip3 install Django equals equals 2.0.2. And there you go. If you do pip freeze again, you just hard-coded this to Django 2.0.2. So that's a very easy way to use the Python virtual env wrapper tool to change a bunch of settings and use different versions of Python packages. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Talk to you soon.